Okay. We're live. Yay. And nobody's expecting us yet. So <laughs> I'll be a few minutes before they come in. But oh, no, there's two people watching already. Wow. Well, hello. <laughs> Hi. We're glad you're here. <laughs> hello. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, my it's daughter's right. not feeling well, so I'm trying to tell her oh, to no. use the bathroom. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's not fun. Is she okay? Give me um, what you had last week, or? No, I don't think so. Um, can you give me just like two minutes? I'm so sorry. That's fine. You go do what you need to do. No problem. Okay. I'm sorry. Just going to check on her make sure that she's okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Hi, Ruth. We're glad you're here. Leticia's going to be gone for just a second, but she'll be right back. We're going to be jelly printing. Yay. Look how nice and clean her plate is compared to mine. <laughs> Oh dear shows the difference a couple of years can make maybe three i can't remember i got it i think for my birthday in 2018 maybe it was 2019 i'm not sure anyway it has been around the block a few times how are you doing ruth Yeah, hers is brand new. I think she's she used it when she streamed yesterday, I think. But I think it's pretty brand new. It's funny how the yellow after a while, you know. But yeah, it was exciting. I remember too. Okay. I'm gonna close my door because our family's watching me. And they're playing the backstreet boards. Clearly. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Wow, a lot. Well, I swear this happens anytime that I go live. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, hey, let's do this or act like this right now. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. What happens. I'm doing okay, Ruth. Oh. I'm doing okay. All right. Hello to everybody in chat. So I far, you guys are all and Ruth. Having <laughs> a wonderful Monday. Okay. Oh. All right. I'm ready when you are. Well, I'm ready. I, right. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just sitting here thinking <laughs> of playing. I know. Uh, I got yeah. some paint. So we'll start with paint. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you use a lot of stenciling on yours? I do sometimes. Sometimes I use tons of stencils and sometimes I don't use any. Sometimes I use lace like this instead of a stencil. Oh, nice. Well, that's pretty. And I tried uh, using some really lace well. on mine and it did not work out for me. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes if you put too much paint on underneath your mm -hmm. lace, it uh -huh. doesn't work very well. And sometimes your lace needs to get a coating of paint on it before it will work well. Oh, nice. So sometimes okay. it takes two or three tries before it does anything good. So okay, it might be either one of those things. Okay. Hi, Janet. Hi, Teresa. I'm glad y'all are here. Teresa. Hello. Ready? All right. Mm -hmm. Use my ruler. Yeah, I'd been wanting to get a jelly plate for some time, and then um, I I'm gonna put some pink in here. Uh, get pink. Why and um, I couldn't find it. I went to Joanne's, and the lady told me that they had a um, or online it said that they had a um, a seven by five yeah. um, gel plate. And so I go all the way to the store and 
the lady tells me, I don't know why our website's saying that. She was like, we don't carry that. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> and then I went online and there was like, they're really big ones. And I'm assuming it's the ones like that you have. And yeah. they wanted a lot for for it. So I was like, I searched and searched. And then I finally was like, okay, I am determined to get one. So then I finally found one. And I was like, yay, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so glad you were able to find one. Yeah. And they have some that are even bigger than this. Really? They have one that's 16 by 20. Oh, my gosh. That's like the entirety of my table. <laughs> I know. That's what I was going to say. I can use it even if I wanted to. <laughs> My placemat is actually, you said 16 by 16, right? 16 by 20. 16 by 20. I think that's the size of my placemat. You know, the little cutting mats that you get? Yeah. So you can, you don't spill stuff. This thing underneath, that one's, I think, the 16 by 20. And it covers what? my table. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, that's huge. I this one's big enough for anything I would want to do. And, and I have a five by seven that I really like too. So nice. But, nice, um, nice. Sometimes I won't use that one. And sometimes I use this one. All right. I'm trying to find your live. Let's see. I think I want to use so hey Barbara glad you're here hello everybody I haven't opened my the chat yet so sorry to anybody who's saying hello <laughs> Barbara says Leticia I watched your video of the first time you used your jelly plate that was a lot of fun oh Thank you Barbara's for watching. Barbara's going to use her 8 by 10 today. She, you, she uses a small one a lot. <laughs> she has several different sizes, though, I think Barbara does. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Okay, I want you to go get a bowl, baby, if you're not feeling good. Just in case, okay? Okay. Try and get some rest. Try. <laughs> okay. I understand that. I'll try. <laughs> it doesn't work well, but I'll try. I've, I've been there before. <laughs> I'm <poor> baby. <laughs> yeah. Barbara says the other one she really likes a lot is six and a half inches wide by 12 inches tall. Wow. That, that's a lot of jelly. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's kind of almost like this one in half, you know? Wow. I, when I pulled this jelly, I, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking when, um, I guess I was thinking of it as a more solid surface and it just being the name, just being a jelly plate. And then I pulled it out and it was like super jelly. And I, I just started cracking up and I'm like, Oh, it's literally, <laughs> it's literally a jelly plate. <laughs> hey, Janet. Janet's back. Hello, Janet. Welcome. Okay. And then I use my roller and I do the other side. Just roll it. I'm just stamping off some of these flowers and I've been, you can't really see them, but I've been putting those there and I'm going to put these over here. All right. There's our first one done. Yay. Ooh, very nice. I like the colors in this one. Yeah. This is pretty good textures mm -hmm. i've been um cutting up some of the ones that i've done before and i started to i turned them into like atc journaling cards right so i put these little stickers that i got at dt and they're textured so they i mean and they're different fun. so i got the print on the one side i distressed it too around the edges and then you flip it over and i put it um i glued them to index cards yeah and so you have an image on the one side and then you have where you can journal too. 
if you wanted. Yeah, that's great. With two more that's textures. Great use of them. Yeah, those are pretty. And Miss Teresa, here's yours, dear. She uh, popped on my channel when I was um, live. Was it last night? Yeah. Um, so I grabbed this one. It says, be the light. And it says, holy Bible right here. And then on the other side, it says praise report. And then it has praying hands. Very mm -hmm. nice. So that one I'm going to send her in some happy mail. <laughs> Good one, Teresa. Yes. Yes. Teresa. Yeah, I decided I was going to make my own praying cards by using these backgrounds that I'm making with the jelly plate. That's a great idea. Yeah. Well, I thought so. All right. Let's see. Let's do some more color blend. Hmm. I need to open my... So I can see you guys. Hmm. Now, let's see. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. I'm trying to find. Barbara said that's perfect for Teresa. She is the light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Oops. That one slipped. The only color I noticed that I don't have in paint is orange. <laughs> well, you can make orange, so. True. Wait, with red and yellow. Uh huh. Right? Okay. <laughs> I'm like, wait. <laughs> I know I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Been there. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, and then let me get that color, and then. Um, Okay. <laughs> I'm like, we'll see what happens. No. <laughs> yep, kind of. Oh, I gotta let it dry a little bit more. Let me find my my little fan. We I, I don't um, even need it too much, but my Hi um, Brenda. Hi Brenda. Okay. Ooh, I like that. That's pretty. Okay. Oh, goodness, Teresa. Definitely be praying. We don't want your back to go out on you. I have used heavy body acrylics, Barbara. Um, and they're okay. I like using the cheaper ones better because they, you know, they go out easier and I could not feel like it doesn't matter if I waste it, you know. Um, the one thing I would say is don't use heavy body acrylics along with craft paints. Because it's kind of like using these with regular craft paints. They don't really mix that well. And they don't want to pick each other up as good. So if you're going to do heavy body, stick with heavy body. If you're going to do, you know, craft paint, stick with craft paint. That's my advice for um, having a better outcome. I say that, but I do mix them sometimes. So, <laughs> <laughs> Or you can get multiple um, gel plates like uh, Miss Barbara. 
<laughs> you and just different have different ones that you use it for. Okay. Ooh, I like that color on there. That's so pretty. Now I'm going to have to wash that off, though. <laughs> yeah. And you're a much better woman than me if you wash that off. Because yeah, I have a little... I found, <laughs> <laughs> I found that a little sponge with a little bit of a scrub on the back um, oh, uh -huh. works out great. <laughs> yeah. I'm just lazy. <laughs> Just be honest about it. <laughs> okay. Trying to decide what to do behind this. Barbara says she just swatched all of her acrylic paints, so she has backups to the heavy body. In fact, I have no clue why I have the heavy body. <laughs> all those were the good paints, Barbara. <laughs> Someone told, I think it was Chris who told me to use um, opaque paints um, because I wanted to use um, gold in my um, paint, but the, there's a paint that I found at Walmart, but it has like gold flakes in it. And yeah. I was asking if it would ruin my jelly plate. And I didn't want it to do that. So she was like, get opaque paint paints because I think it has a gold in there that I could use. And I was like, okay. Layers are our best friend when it comes to the gel plate. That is true, Janet. <laughs> Ooh, I like your colors. Yeah, I'm just throwing some stuff. Some yellow, some pink, <laughs> a little bit of orange. <laughs> We're going to put a little white on there. I think I need a, um, a bigger brayer. Yeah, a four inch one works really well. The little two inch one works great for the five by seven plate, but it takes a long time if you use it on the bigger plates. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, oh, good grief, Lisa. Who's that one? Is that upside down? I don't know. I feel like it's backwards. I don't know. There's that one. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty. Yeah. Backwards or not. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I like um, the little, it's, I have a little wooden um, dove and my daughter got it for me for um, Christmas and I use it now as a stencil because it works great. And then I have these little like dove prints. Cool. Yeah. Um, I asked if we could use, um, you know, our little jelly um, uh, stamps, the little gel stamps. Oh, that uh -huh. If you could use them on your gel plate using paint. Someone told me no, but I have not seen them jelly plates. So I'm going to ask someone who has <laughs> jelly plates. Yeah. So, um, well, I'm, I'll just give you my advice on it. Or no, I'm not going to give you advice. I'm just going to tell you what I think. Mm -hmm. It's my opinion purely, purely opinion. <laughs> um, I think it's perfectly fine to use those, uh huh. Stamps, but you have to be sure you clean them good, just okay, because you used them with paint. Okay. But um, I don't. I have dedicated things that I use on the jelly plate, okay. and then I have those kind of stamps I save for ink. But that's just because I'm lazy and I don't want to go to the trouble to wash them. So, <laughs> so okay. if you're, you know, if you are more ambitious, just go right ahead. All right. All right. Duly noted. Do not but use I it. would definitely have a, 
a bowl of water or something sitting close by that you can put it in immediately if you do. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, I got to get big because this one's beautiful. If I do say so myself. Oh, let me see. Ooh, I like it. It's like a grungy kind of. Ooh, I love it. Yeah, that's beautiful. It is beautiful. I'm a very I like happy. It. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't always happen. First off, in fact, really. <laughs> usually the first two or three, I'm like, nah. <laughs> oh. I'm going to try to stay on till 8 o'clock, but my leg is bothering me, so I may have to give up sooner than that. But okay. we're going to try to not give up. <laughs> okay. Let's see what kind of light is in here. Hey, Sherry. I missed you when you came in. I'm glad you're here. Thanks, Ruth. Thanks, Janet. Thanks, Barbara. Oh, look what I just found. Oh, my Yummy. <laughs> I know. I didn't know it was out here. <laughs> She's like, look, I found me a snag. Didn't even know it was here. <laughs> Yay, a treat for later. <laughs> see here. Um, I have all these little buttons I can use. And then I just wash them off <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh i like the i like your jelly plate right now it looks really pretty oh thank you put a random shoe on it a random shoe yeah <laughs> that's, that's pretty random <laughs> <laughs> giving someone the boot <laughs> there you go I have oh, some pieces from flip flops. That's the only close to shoe thing I've got out here to go on my jelly plate. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else they have? Ooh, they have a pair of scissors. Let's do that. Okay. I need some like um some tweezer things. Yep, tweezers a good idea. Most definitely. Oh, and the baby angel. No, I don't want to put angel. Let's see. Uh... What did you say? Oh, I have a baby angel, and I was going to put it in there, and then I was like, no, it doesn't really go with my theme right now. <laughs> well, I thought you said a baby eagle. No, I'm not going to use that. <laughs> oh, eagle, Actually, eagle. well, I have a baby owl with a little Santa hat. <laughs> oh, there you go. Him. How cute is that? <laughs> oh, and I got these little gnomes, too. Aren't they cute? Oh, they are cute. And they're buttons. Oh, how good <laughs> is that? <laughs> okay. Janet yeah. says, woohoo, for surprise treats. That's right. <laughs> for some reason, this tissue paper is not wanting to do its thing like it usually does. Okay. Um... One thing you can do if you're doing a stencil or something or lace like this, mm -hmm. go back in and just 
you know, do the little places where you didn't, you see that you didn't pick up good. Okay. So you can do it a little bit at a time if it. I want to be able to add, um, like, lacy kind of stuff to my pages once they're dry. Okay. Okay. I found it. And then we will take this. Well, it took off. me forever in two days, but you know. <laughs> found it. And okay. I can see you all now. Yay. <laughs> Yay. I'm so glad. Okay. There we go. Where's that up for now? And then put you up here. Can you roll it? How long have you been jelly plating? Me? Uh huh. Um, I started playing with jelly plates. I think back in 2016, 2017, before I ever started doing videos. Um, I had I made a jelly plate at home and I used that for probably a couple of years nice before I bought one around the time your jelly around the time you're jelly plating I was just starting my channel <laughs> yeah I started my channel in January 2018 Nice. I think mine was about the same, two, 2018, I think. But yeah. I was doing videos live on Facebook first. Ah, cool. Yeah. I still haven't ever done a Facebook video. People tell me, you might as well. Everybody else is doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I like the colors on this one. I only have so much time, though, and true so I, if i make a video i just i just make it you know do it i could stream to youtube too actually um you know th through Streamyard, i could do that you know stream at this both places at the same time mm -hmm. but most everybody who watches me would watch me here so i mean everybody who's in my facebook group are subscribers you know, for yeah, same here. So it doesn't really do any. I don't think it would be that helpful for me to go to the trouble to figure out how to do that. <laughs> but I think you can. You can do it. Okay. Oh, move my lace. Ooh, I like that stencil on there. That one's pretty. That's this lace. Lace. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> I like it. And so lace is one of my favorite things to use. It just, it works really well once you, you know, like I said, after you get paint on the lace, <laughs> after the first couple, it works really well. Well, I realized once I used a piece of lace, I ended up losing it. And now I'm probably going to have to cut another one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. You just throw it in your jelly print toy box you need a jelly print toy box <laughs> yes oh, i think i do <laughs> <laughs> and um all the millions of other things that you will be finding now that you have a jelly plate because <laughs> everywhere you go you see something you go oh jelly plate uh, especially things that can create like a nice texture yeah any kind of texture or um print. what was i gonna say yeah. um you know some kind of print uh -huh. Like these, <laughs> these came off my vitamins. Oh my. <laughs> nice. But that'll work great. Uh -huh. <laughs> of course, you can use it for a lot of other things too, which is why I have three of them. <laughs> <laughs> because it wouldn't do to throw it away. That's awesome. Okay. 
Now, what do I want to put behind this? with jelly plating too you gotta make sure you replenish your paints <laughs> yeah it's amazing how long they last though you think you know oh i'm gonna run out of this really quick and unless you just use this the you know same all, colors all the time mm -hmm. you know if you do that then they go faster but um okay I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Got it? No. <laughs> it's, like, it's, just, it's like, um, I don't know. Not in the mood or something. I don't know. It's not able to think as well as I would like. I mean, it's not like it's not like it's that difficult. Just pick a color and throw it on there, you know. But <laughs> thank you, Barbara. Hello, Julie. Hi, Julie. I'm glad you're here. Well, I'm sure whatever you put on, at least it'll turn out great. Well, <laughs> she's like, well, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll we'll test that hypothesis here. She's just like, you're more confident than I am right now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's easy to be confident for other people, isn't it? Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Where's the thing I want to put in there, too? I'll use my block stamps instead of my clear ones. <laughs> there you go. Whichever ones are easier to clean, that's probably these ones. Yeah. Well, I got that on there really crooked. <laughs> okay. Mustard, yeah. <laughs> she oh, mustard. turquoise, Julie said. That would have been a good idea, Julie. Ruth can't wait to see. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> I'm going to let it sit here a little longer. I'm trying to have more patience about it. Because I, do, I, I I'm about to be convinced that it helps. <laughs> it longer, so. I watch Mariah and Patricia do it, and they leave it. I mean, they'll just put that jelly plate aside and get another one and let it completely dry. And it pulls off like perfect. But I'm always afraid it's gonna the paper's going to stick to it. So even though I see them do it. <laughs> looks like casserole. <laughs> okay <coughs> let's see what the big one looks like okay 
here's what that one looks like. Oh, I really like this one. side over here. And this side over here. That's pretty. I like that one. Thanks. It's almost like a Cosmo kind of. I like that. Yeah, it's 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 party. Uh-oh, our puppy is getting in trouble. Uh -oh. <laughs> so we have a new fur baby. He's a husky. He's a Siberian husky. Oh. And his name is Skylar. Skylar. Yep. How fun is that? And he just turned two months yesterday. There's part of me that really wants a puppy. But I'm just not really in the mood for potty training. <laughs> and, <laughs> so, so I would rather have an older dog if I to not have to do that, you know. Right. And so I keep thinking I want to get a rescue, but um, I, the last time we got a rescue, we got lucky. But I've known a lot of people who had really hard time, you know, um, trying to get a rescue to be an easy pet. So, I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> we just decided to put it off for a little while. Well, I don't think I like this one. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> so, I'm going to do the other side. <laughs> well, you go ahead and do the other side. And then a day or two from now, you'll pick that up and go, Oh, you know, that's really pretty. Why didn't I like that? <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> you know that hopeful moment we were just talking about? I'm going to do the other side anyway. Oh, let's see. Okay. I need like some stars. You find me a star one. Stars sounds like fun. Yeah. Put some stars in here, make it look like nighttime. Put a little bit of black in here. forgot what I was gonna do <laughs> I know right I didn't think about printing on both sides till I go and see Lisa do it and I'm like well I didn't like that one so let's print on the other side <laughs> <laughs> well I print on both sides pretty often um, <laughs> And then sometimes I regret it because I'm like, oh, I don't want to lose this side, you know. Because then both, if both sides turn out good, you're, you have to choose. Unless yeah. you're making them pages in a book, then you don't have to choose. That and that's what I did with my first bunch. My with my first bunch of jelly prints was um, make them into pages in a book. And so then I just kind of got in the habit of doing it on both sides. So I'm trying to refrain from that now. <laughs> <laughs> I still do it sometimes. But... Hi, Angie. Just because I'm gonna end up cutting this one off. Well, 
Well, I, I don't think it. I think you should print on what, however you want. If you want to do it on both sides, do it on both sides. Um, yes. And I, I do both. Okay, that is a mess. Okay. Hi, Angie. I'm glad you're here. Trying to find my stars. Let's see. Where are all my lucky stars? I'm going to put a stamp. One thing about using stamps is, or whatever you're using to stamp things, you know, mm -hmm. if you have too much, too much paint on there, mm -hmm. then it, it doesn't, you know, go all the way down through it. Yeah, it does. It, it slides. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, um, and if you're wanting to make layers, you know, you want it to go through, you don't want it sliding around on there, but I do, I mean, it happens a lot. So, cause I'm, I'm, I have a tendency to be heavy handed with paint. So. I try and go light and then I do too light and then there's way too much white. <laughs> yeah. I think that'd be a good idea, Julie. She says, I was thinking maybe using some of my copious amounts of dress pattern tissue paper to gel print on, maybe with transparent paint for some of it. I think that'd be fun. Mm -hmm. Hi, Sharon. We're glad you're here. What did you use right down there at the bottom? I missed it. Oh, it's a piece of um, border, paper border. <coughs> that that I have. really well. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Some of this dried really fast and some of it's just not drying at all. Your gel print. Yeah. So are you drying it and then you add more paint? Yeah. Oh wow. So you can put layers behind it. That oh, way. okay. So you have the grunge in front of it that you hope will come off down <laughs> here and up here. And then you have this, and then whatever you put behind it, and you can put even several layers behind it okay if you let them each one dry in between they will stick to each other you know as you're adding them on oh wow that's pretty so i use this as a stencil and what ended up on the cross from the from the paint i actually oh, really like <laughs> it, yeah i would set that aside and use it that's great right? <laughs> beautiful <laughs> it is beautiful That'd be great on a, a journaling card or something. Uh -huh. Perfect. I'll send you one of those too, Teresa. A jelly print cross. <laughs> I couldn't find my stars, so I'm putting snowflakes. Well, the snowflakes are good. I have a whole box of wooden things that I've used on the jelly plate. 
that is, you know, hidden underneath something somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Not it's on just purpose. Somewhere, just, somewhere. <laughs> just because stuff got piled on top of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's funny. What is felt plating, Angie? Felt plating. Well, she may have just gotten. Okay. Oh. Hold on just a second, Hannah. I'm going to have to mute for just a second, y'all. Okay. I don't have a blower, so I, I got to use my hand the good old fashioned way. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, I can show you guys one of the jelly prints I did before. Uh, let's see. I did yesterday. Yeah. This is the one I did yesterday. Oh, I love that. I like how it turned. Oh, I have it upside down. Ah! <laughs> there well, you go. It looks good upside down, too, but it looks better now. <laughs> <laughs> I had that, that one, and then I had this one. But there's too much white in this one. I, I wanted it to be a little bit more colored, but it's okay. Yeah, I like the strong colors you used in that first one. Thank you. I'm waiting to layer this up, but you know. Uh, let's see. So we dry it and then we add more paint. Yep. Okay. And then put on another layer. Yeah, I'm gonna um I'm gonna use some of these leaves to pull off if I can find something to put them on. Yeah, here we go. Um I'm gonna pull off some leaves. Ooh, I like leaves. Of course, I the leaves will now be not green, and the rest of it will be green. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what happens when you go at things backwards. It's all right. Okay. Um. Let's see. On top of my blues, let's do. Let's do a red one. We could punch out a few of these shapes and glue a few together, then glue on a piece of cardboard for mark making. Absolutely. Thank you. Watching this it up now, though, Barbara. <laughs> This is so much fun. I like this. The particular thing that you're doing now or just the jelly printing? Just the jelly printing in general. Yeah, me too. And there's like a never, you know, never ending amount of things that you can do with it. <laughs> right. So you can't get bored. <laughs> um, well, I guess... You can if you really want to, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't see me ever getting bored with it. They're like, I hope it's dry enough. <laughs> Julie, <laughs> I'm praying for you. <laughs> <laughs> Go 
Give me a little more, please. Okay. I think that's all I'm going to put on there and I'm going to let that dry and then we'll put something on back of it and pull it off. Julie, y'all printed nearly all day yesterday. <laughs> yeah. trial and error guys <laughs> oh my gosh that was a lot of pink <laughs> good gosh <laughs> hi mary green. we're glad you're here one thing to remember leticia and you probably know this but i'm just gonna say it anyway mm -hmm. whatever every layer you add on goes back further further to the back okay. so what you got where at the very First, that's what's going to be in the front when you pull okay, it off. Perfect. And then it perfect. works. You know, every, everything else you add on top of that goes back a layer. Okay. I feel like this is a ton of paint. <laughs> and there you add more. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Add some purple in here. Thank you, Janet. A little something. They're going to have a two sided cross. Okay, Teresa. Then she has to make decisions. She can hang it up and she can see both sides that way. Yes. Lots of learning curves with jelly printing, Julie says. That's true. Right. But it's just ripe with opportunities for experimentation. Right. And then if you don't like it, you could just cut it up and cover it. No. <laughs> there you go. You know that. <laughs> worst case scenario, you can throw it away if you really want to. <laughs> right. It's a joy of jelly printing. I don't That's know right. This is here. Okay. Let's do it. Ooh, I like your colors, Lisa. Thanks. So pretty. Yeah, I think I got to the point where I was like, okay, enough watching other people jelly print. I want a jelly print. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Be part of the in crowd. <laughs> right? Right? Hi, Brittany. We're glad you're here. Hello. <laughs> A Mary, lot of my problems have been color mixing equals mud. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you do have to kind of pay attention to your color theory a little bit, but... Um, I like the gringiness of it, though. Like when yeah, you do you mix too. a whole bunch of colors. Yeah. Um, there's one I did that kind of looks like colors that would be in Jupiter. I'll show you. Oh, I would love to see. Like this. See? Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah. Like, I love that. It looks like, and it, the way it's swirled and stuff, it looks like colors that you'd see swirling in a planet. All right, guys, fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> Say a little prayer. I know. <laughs> I'm like, well, that's another one I don't like. Let's do the back of that one.
No, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, guys. Are we ready? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Just a second. Let me make you big. Let's have the big reveal here. That one would be so pretty with um, white doodling on it. Yes. I like that one. That's very pretty. Yes. I love the colors. It looks Hi, like Mariah. the old buildings, like chipped paint. It does. Yeah. I like that. Ooh, let's Brady do it again. says your brayer is adorable. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I know I need to get a bigger one. I was like, this little guy, I'm asking a lot of him <laughs> with all this paint that I'm layering on here. That's right, Sherry. Sherry says, if you don't like it, add another layer until you're happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you ever tried um, like vellum or anything like that to do jelly printing with? Um, or will I it slide? I don't think I have tried to jelly print on vellum. I don't think so. I don't have a lot of vellum, so I don't think about it, you know. Uh -huh. But I think it would be interesting to try it. In fact, I was, right. I'm sitting here thinking, where is my vellum? Surely I've got some somewhere <laughs> I can play with. Get it out and see. I want to try. I got some right here. Let's see. I feel like the paint, though, would, like, slide around a lot, though. Well, you might want to do a, a lighter layer of paint. Well, I'm like you, one. Lisa, oh. kind of heavy handed. I don't think that's going to work out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mariah says the thicker the vellum is a bit nicer on the plate. The thicker vellum is a bit nicer on the plate. Well, that's good okay. to know. Yeah, I think, I think mine's pretty decent. I mean, I think. <laughs> All right, we'll find here. out. <laughs> I know, right? We're about to find out, guys. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do a color pattern here, though. Um, okay, see, everything I put behind that um, brown, mm -hmm. I mean, the leaves you can barely see, the green you can sort of see, but then you can really see the blue. Yeah, the blue but really stands out. Really it's really see, pretty. Yeah, you can't really see the leaves. But this one goes over here, goes all the way up to the pink that was at the very beginning. So that's fun. Nice. Why is my brain being weird? Oh, it's good to have that one. I'm sorry. Okay. Yep, I'm out of that paper. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna use some of these. I got a I use um for my paper I use a coffee or not coffee ah um <laughs> printing paper printer paper printer paper yeah that's what I'm using is printer paper um but the rest of it is too far behind the pile so so i'm going to use these ledger sheets because they're there why not it'll be fun to have that in the background i think so okay i think i want to see if i can get some of this off oh my gosh that would have been so bad what did you do the whole lid of my paint almost came off. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, man, that scared me. <laughs> oh, that'll be fun, Angie. Teresa says, vellum does not get along with wet. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> that is true. It'll probably curl right up. Mm -hmm. well, you know when you pull it up but 
it'll be interesting to see what it does. Ooh, uh, Janet says deli paper makes a wonderful washi tape also. Yeah. The Ooh. cool thing about the shelf paper or the contact paper is that it's already sticky on one side. The bad thing is it's it's slick on the other side, which may or may not stick to the paint. Oh. So it will be it would be interesting to find out how that works. Right. Okay. I'm gonna I don't like when my burger does that. Your brayer? Yeah, it, like it's stuck and then it doesn't like roll. It just like slides across. <laughs> yeah, that's um, a lot of times that's caused by too much paint. As I'm okay. adding more. <laughs> on your, uh, yeah, on your um on your jelly plate you know you put too much paint on there if it slides and doesn't roll sometimes though this gets stuck and then it won't roll because it's stuck you know uh -huh. so it does the same thing but but a lot of times when it slides across your jelly plate that's because it's um too much paint i see i know all the things you can do wrong because i've done them all <laughs> I was like, she's an expert fisher fox. <laughs> she has the wisdom that comes from making a lot of mistakes. <laughs> Me and my daughter were watching Fox and the Hound, and he was saying that he was a, a the one of the dogs is he's a fox, and he was like, I'm an expert fisher fox, and he like <laughs> he was trying to impress the uh, the girl fox. And yeah. he failed like miserably. And she was like, do, do you need help? And he was like, nope, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have fish that night. <laughs> well, there's a weird little paper. It's got cool texture. I was surprised it didn't pick up more than that, but we'll do some up here. Oops, too much paint. <laughs> Mine just did the same thing. <laughs> This is going to look like that Cosmo one I was talking about. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Let's add some white here. Oops. <laughs> you like it, Julie? Okay. I like it. It's just kind of uh, the you know the I don't usually use lined paper, so the lines on there look kind of odd. But um, but it's cool. Oh my gosh, Lisa. Yeah. I was looking for my wooden stars. Uh huh. And I forgot this whole time I had a stencil with stars on it. <laughs> oh, well, get it out. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to cut this stencil. So I just want the stars. I don't know. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll just get the whole thing. Um. We'll do it like that. Okay. 
It's funny because on this paper, the white that I put on it to pull it up just kind of disappears. <laughs> I figured it would cover up the lines, but it really doesn't. Oh, I want to try jelly printing on some black paper. I like have how... done that, and it can be really, really cool. Really? Yeah, yeah. Nice. If you use bright colors, you know, and stick yeah. and things. It's, yeah, it can be really cool. Ooh, I'll have to try it. Okay, this is weird. It looks like moldy paper or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have your paper junk expired. Journal. We have a junk journal, <laughs> expired paper. There you go. Julie says Ooh. use metallics and bright colors on black, and I agree with that. Yeah, that would be pretty. Okay. Oh, happy birthday, Sherry. Oh, happy birthday. Her birthday's tomorrow. Aww. Very cool. I hope you find something really fun to do. You can jelly print. <laughs> there you go. That's really fun. Hi, Vanessa. We're glad you're here. Oh, I love this. Look, it's peeling back already for me. <laughs> <laughs> On both it's ends. Scary. Look, I don't even have to do it. <laughs> Going to roll up into a scroll all by itself. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. You guys can't see. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, we, we got we to gotta see. You got to show us. If it doesn't make it big so we can see when you get the chance. Right? When it when it wants to unfold. My finger's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Julie, she's that's Bella that she's trying to unroll. Okay, there we go. Oh, very cool though. It went on there though. It's straight on there. Yeah. I like it. Very now, if it would cool. just not roll on me, that would be great. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Now you guys can see. Look at that. That's really on pretty. Vellum. That's I like that. Well, now we know. Right? It curls, but you can do it. <laughs> but it did start getting back out for you, so that's good. Yeah. I like it. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Mariah says if you can clip it down, it will flatten out. Like clip it down onto a piece of board or something. True. I'll put a book on it. <laughs> Thank you, Jenna. It's really dry. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm like, well, now it's slid off of the vellum, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right, there we go. We're going to do black, yellow, and red. Black, yellow, and red.
like an point in here too. And white. What has been your favorite color combo that you use for jelly uh, printing, Lisa? Me? Oh yeah. my goodness. Um, I am not sure I can give you one because some days I really love certain things and then other days I really love something else. So, But I love copper. And I love greens and blues just in general. Mm -hmm. And I love those together on the jelly plate. <laughs> it's probably my favorite thing on the jelly plate. But I love, I also like colors that look like fall. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, that kind of thing. So. I love fall and spring are my favorite seasons. Yeah, mine too. Okay, well, that's hard to tell if, if there's even much of anything on there or not. But we're going to let it dry and put something on top of it, and we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kathleen. We're glad you're here. Hello. All right. I like I I noticed that I like the wooden and like plastic and metal um stencilings. Yeah. But I do not like the paper ones. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they do not work for me. They they tear easy and sometimes they get stuck and you try and peel it off and it just tears it. Yeah, I agree. That's been my That's been my findings as well. Thank you, Janet. <laughs> Hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. I'm glad you're here. Janet, would you um, grab Leticia's channel and stick it in um, in the chat? Aww. Just in case somebody's not subscribed and needs to be. Because <laughs> everybody you. needs to be. Well, you're welcome. Okay. Let's see. Hopefully. I think I want to find some faith based, like um, wooden pieces so I can use them in my jelly printing. I'm sorry. I was reading a. a comment when you said that so you're gonna have to repeat it because i didn't hear it <laughs> <laughs> i said i'm gonna find a faith-based um some wooden pieces so i can use uh -huh. them in my jelly printing yeah yeah so i think that would be awesome i think it would be too i've got some crosses wooden crosses mm -hmm. but once again they're you know hidden under piles of stuff <laughs> I, really need, I really should not be doing any streaming. I should just be cleaning. Shopping but, in your own craft room? <laughs> yeah. But um, that's not as much fun as this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, adulting is not fun either <laughs> when you just want to play. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm having to adult way too much right now. So I'm happy to play when I get the chance. Right. Okay, let me pull you guys a little bit further in. Mariah says, if you have stencils, you can make impression plates. And that's true. I'm not sure how Mariah does it, but I've done it with um, texture paste through a stencil on something hard. Mm -hmm. And then when that dries, that makes you an impression plate that you can use of that stencil. 
Nice. Okay, watch out, things. Oh, let's not fall down. Light and fluffy, she says, is her favorite texture paste. <laughs> One of these days, I'll get some and try that. But I have a uh, grit paste and texture paste, and I like the um, waxes. Waxes are pretty on stuff. Janet likes the stencils and texture paste, too. I do, too, and I've got some plates that I did like that a long time ago. Eventually, the little pieces, you know, that you stuck to it come off. But you can use them for a long time before that happens. Seriously, I need to get me a dryer. Yeah, well, trust me that um, that little little handheld um, fan works great. Um, Tanya found those at Dollar Tree. I haven't oh, ever nice. seen them at Dollar Tree, but and I don't think she's seen them since then. But um, they might come out with them again now that's hitting towards the warmer, and know, people are going to need those self fans. Because they were purple, so that maybe they were Eastery. You know, I don't know. Huh. Anyway, she found them in with the teenage kids stuff, not in the, you know, not in a place you might have expected to find them, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Oh, nice. Well, I guess I'm going to have to use my good old fashioned blower, which is my mouth. <laughs> there you go. The original I've done that or a you know a fan, I mean a <laughs> like this. <laughs> that gets tiring. But I've done it a lot. Until I got this nice little fan, I did it a lot. Glue? Put glue. Oh boy. She I'm puts coat of Mod Podge over the um over the texture plates, I think. Oh, okay. I was like, wouldn't that ruin your jelly plate? <laughs> and glue it up. Yeah. Um, okay. All right. Now I think I want to put lime green. A few different greens. Yes, Julie, you need a handheld battery operated fan. Everybody who jelly plates needs one. <laughs> yes. And the <laughs> and the other thing that I need is some baby wipes. <laughs> yeah, baby wipes are good too. Okay, well that print doesn't really show on here so far. Mm -hmm. It's got some depth in the blues, though, so it'll be okay to use. But it's, um, I just thought the print from that lace would show up better. Ooh, that's pretty, though. Ooh, that's really pretty. Almost looks like an underwater scene. Yeah. Well, let's move the way over here. Here. Teresa says use a piece of cardstock to fan it. Cardstock. Oh. You know, you know your stuff that you said is buried? Yeah. That's my cardstock. <laughs> <laughs> I completely understand. <laughs> Well, that mostly cleaned up my plate. It looks like Easter. 
It does look like Easter. I like it. We add a little bit of blue and we got Easter. Easter colors. Okay. Hi, Anita. I'm glad you're here. Ah. Well, there's a first time for everything falling down. <laughs> <laughs> a flowery meadow, Julie says. Ah. It looks like Monet painting to me. <laughs> you're doing there. I'm going to play with that idea a little bit. <laughs> ah! Uh-oh. This, I don't like this bottle as good because it doesn't have um, the little thing. It's just got a lid on it. Don't like it as good. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna find my my little brayer and uh, see if we can do a little bit of this without making too much or I mix it up. Okay, what's going on? Wow, that little brayer is not rolling. <laughs> I know it does it to me too. Huh. Okay. Oh, yes, that's a perfect grungy. Oh, yes. I gorgeous. like that. It looks like a tire track inside the center. I like that. Perfect. I like it. Pretty colors. I want to do like a Valentine's Day one. That sounds good. Let's see. Okay, that's. Mm 
Okay, here we go. Now let's see. Oh, I like it. Pinks, reds, and purples. Oh, I was like, what is that noise? It's me. <laughs> <laughs> it's this the smushing sound of my brayer. Oh, yeah. From the paint. Or like the sticky sound. Between that and me smushing on my tissue paper, we're making some... You got stuff. tissue paper? Well, it's um, pattern tissue paper, you know. Ooh. That I'm using to pick up the stuff in between the lace. Wow. That way it um, it goes down in there really good. And so you can pick up the the stuff that you, you know, you're trying to take out so you can see the lace pattern. <laughs> Julie, I ate too many corn chips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Now we're going to let that dry. This looks like a mess right now. Oh. Barbara says, sigh. I just put my plate away. Aww. I got a few prints out of it today that I like. A process I'll show you on Thursday, Lisa. Okay, cool. Okay, now I don't need for you to fall. I don't need you to fall. I know my whole die cutting machine fell down. I was like, oh, okay. Whoops. <laughs> it's getting a little jelly. <laughs> At least it's a, those are sturdy things. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That looks really pretty. Thank you. Tanya would be going, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> she loves to use things like that. And it's funny is when I got the jelly plate, I was looking at the picture and like, you know, it gives you this step-by-step kind of like how to get started a little bit. Yeah. And on it, it showed this thing. Well, I was like, oh, now it's something I got to buy separate. And then I was like, wait a minute. I had gotten a Valentine's present for my mom. And it's a um, making memories um, embossing uh, ink. Or no, ink kit. Not embossing, but it's an ink kit. Uh -huh. And it had it in there. Oh, um, cool. And you can use it for embossing and stuff like that. So it's like an um, ink kit and embossing, basically. And uh, I was like, oh, my gosh, I actually have this thing. And so I went and searched for it. And sure enough, I was like, this is going to be perfect. We're making designs in this paper. Yeah. Oh, I hate when Barbara it says she got some Sizzix texture plates from a garage sale, but she's been using them on her jelly plate instead of her Sizzix. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hi, Lori. 
There's Glad that you're one. here. Ooh, I like it. I like it too, except for the red smudges, but it's okay. You can put something on top of those. Yeah. I Do some doodling or something on top of those. <laughs> I think I'll put a black word on each of those spots. <laughs> there you go. Hi, Lori. Thank you, Barbara. I'm going to get some of the excess off. You waiting for yours to dry, Lisa? Yeah. <laughs> Just like it's taking longer than I intended it to. <laughs> about half my time like that. But that's okay. <laughs> I like the several layers, and so I don't mind waiting on it to dry. Purple and purple. Purple and purple. Pink. Oh, that's wonderful. Let's go over there on the table. <laughs> <laughs> that little paint had a mind of its own. Says I don't want to go on that gel thing. <laughs> okay. When you don't have wipes, get yourself a rag. That's true. <laughs> damp rag or a damp paper towel. Something. Something, <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Cut a hair on my brayer. I know. I was just picking at mine too. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> Why is this <laughs> on here? <laughs> it does not make for um happy gel prints. <laughs> no, it does not. Um, let's see something. Mm. Whoops. <laughs> Trying to find something else to this is texturized. <laughs> Yanita says her daughter's pointing and saying, Look at that, you guys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> cute. Um, let's see. What do I want to do? Hi, Dar. It's good to see you. We're glad you're here.
<laughs> okay. Well, this flying gnat wants to be a part of my jelly printing, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Don't think he will like it once he gets in there, but. All right. He'll have pretty wings. <laughs> I like pretty. I like that. Thank you. Okay. Well, that was fun. I think that turned out good. Oh, wow. It's beautiful, Mom. You like yours, too. I can <laughs> barely see it, but I know it's pretty. Oh, hold on. Yes. Hold on. Lisa, she wants to see your print. Hold on. Okay. See? Hey, this oh, one's even better. Wow. That looks like a bunch of clouds and stuff with water in it. Yeah. It does, it's doesn't purple, it? Too. It's she two said, different kinds of purple lace. too. <laughs> <laughs> yep, got a little bit of everything in that one. <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to set you guys up over here. <gasps> Ooh, almost got that in my sweater. Okay. Now, hopefully, paint doesn't fling over there towards my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Thanks, Brenda. Where'd my pink Thank go? Thank you, Mariah. Okay. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. I'm looking for my pink. In oh, right now. she will love that, Yanita. That's great. She's going to get her jelly plate out and let her daughter play with us. Aww. Yay. How cute. Got to indoctrinate them young. <laughs> I know my daughter's asking for another journal because I've made her one. She likes putting a bunch of stickers in it. Yeah. So now she's like, Mom, I need another one. I finished with that one. I'm like, geez. Like, maybe you should put some other stuff, like draw or something, so it lasts long. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit longer than what it is right now. <laughs> well, at least you will always have um, some place to to give your um, journals to. You don't have to worry about them going unloved. <laughs> right. Like mine just sit out here. Well, sometimes I've finished them. I've made them into books, you know, but sometimes they're just still sitting here. Okay, mm -hmm. let's see. And I have given a, a few of them to people who were not um, part of the online group. I know that, you know, the people I've given them to online appreciate them, but you never know with, you know, people in the real part of your life. <laughs> right. If they're going to like them or not, you know, if they're right? into this stuff. So, you know, like if they you end up finding it at Goodwill later on in life or something. Like, like wait a minute, I made that. Because <laughs> I found a couple when I went shopping, I found a couple of like handmade journals. And I'm like, oh man, like this was someone's hard work and someone just, yeah. Yeah. She's two. Oh, she's going to have a blast. Oh. Have a messy, messy blast. Oh, that's going to be funny. Yep. Well, I definitely would. Because they sure uh, like to finger paint at that age. They do. Yeah, she'll have fun. If. If I had had one when Hannah was that age, I would have definitely enjoyed playing with her on it. Mm -hmm. When I first started doing this and I made them, you know, she jelly printed with me quite a bit back then. But she's got her own stuff that she does now. So, oh, um, that's all right. She's way more artistic than I am. So I'm going to let her just do her thing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I 
I hope that'll come up. <laughs> no, right? I've had bad luck with that, but I I hope it'll come up for you. Maybe you'll get luckier than me. I did uh, my first one with this, and it came up, but it uh, took part of my my heart out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Okay. This one's my kind of wonky one. It's not really great. I got this, got this one at Goodwill in a bag. Just making sure it doesn't touch my feet. Okay. I just a minute ago saw some more. There it is. Okay. Some more tissue paper to use. <laughs> and it's like, okay. I know I have a ton of it out here, so it's got to be somewhere. Okay. Here we go. Puppy is getting in trouble again. <laughs> uh oh. Eventually they learn. <laughs> yep. He Poor puppy. He's learning. Yeah. There's what came off on the tissue paper. That looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Oh, wow. Yes, it does. That's pretty. That would be good in collage. <laughs> My mom. No, no. The dog. <laughs> Bye, baby. Love you. I love you, too. Thanks, Barbara. Bye, Sharon. Thank you for popping Kathleen. in. Kathleen, I'm sorry. I just now saw your um, your question. My plate is 12 by 14. And I did not make it. I bought it. Um, I have made one in the past. The first one I had I made. And I used it a lot. I liked it. In fact, it took me a while to like this as good as the one I made. Because um, the ones you make are a little bit, they're a little bit softer. So it's easier to get through the stencil and that <clears throat> kind of stuff with those. Of course, they tear up. Uh, you know, get pits in them and stuff faster too because of that. But yes, the cold fan is wonderful. Here we go. How you doing, Kathleen? Glad you're here. Mm -hmm. Okay. We got two Kathleen's today. <laughs> That's kind of unusual. I mean, we have two of things, but not very often two Kathleen's. You have a Vicky here, too, who says, uh, hold on. Oh, I missed her. I'm sorry, Vicky, I missed you coming in. Uh, Lesama, Lesama Art. Is that Vicky? Is that what I'm confused by? But I'm glad you're here. No, it's uh, Art D something. Let's see. 
uh, Art, Artie Dar, Marino. Yeah, but I think Vicky is uh, Lazima Art. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I had forgotten that. But anyway, I didn't see her come in. But I'm glad you're here. And I'm glad somebody talked to you so I could know that you were here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see it. She says, hi, Lisa only. And hello to all of you beautiful people. I see. Hello to everybody. Hello. Okay. Let me put a paper on here. Oh, I think I ran out of paper. Uh-oh. Well, you'll have to run around and find some other paper like I did. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, I thought it was really close to me. I guess not. Wait. I have some paper here somewhere. Okay, I got a piece. Oh, my name's Letitia. <laughs> A lot of people call me Letty, or they just abbreviate my uh, channel name, which is HGT, Heavenly Gifted Today. Yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yes. Except because my name is L-E-T-I-T-I-A. It's not spelled the way it sounds, but it's Letitia. And I just spell Letty L-E-T-I. <laughs> because it's half my name. I get people call me Letty for the first part of my name. And then, or they'll call me the last part of my name, which is the T-I-A. Or they'll call me Tia. So, <laughs> it's kind of like, what's your preference? <laughs> You just answered anything then, don't you? Uh, no, just my name. Just I guess they chop, like to chop it up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, well, that's one thing about Lisa. You can't do a whole lot with it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could call me Lee or son. <laughs> but, you know, I had a friend whose daughter called me Cece because she couldn't say Lisa. Oh, and she always wanted Cece to do everything with her, you know. And Aww. we would be at a restaurant or something, and they would say, she's your little sister? <laughs> like, That's no. funny. <laughs> no, she just calls me that because she can't say Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I know I have a lot of people that can't say my name. They're like, is there something else that I can call you? Uh, yeah. One person, they just it was, it was bothering them so much so that they gave me a whole different name. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. They're like, well, what's your middle name? <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> Let's just make something up. We'll call you Joe. <laughs> right? Well, that was not supposed to happen. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, fine. I like the, the, the niceness around it. Yeah. Again. I just got to put some more paper. Okay, I got to do some stenciling on here and to use my two different blues. I feel like the colors I use the most are that pink, the red, the yellow, and these two blues and the purple. Okay, let me get this excess paint off. It's creating a little, little pile up of stuff in here. <laughs> yeah, on my paint bottle. 
Okay. There we go. And now I have this globber of paint. Let's see. Uh, Okay. There we go. I used different colors today after after watching of my acrylic paints yesterday. Fun. Mm -hmm. uh, have you tried water watercolor on your um your jelly plate with the with the spray bottle? I uh, haven't tried it with a spray bottle. I have used sprays on there, you know, of different kinds. Um, but I have, you know, just put it on kind of messily. Um, and I, I liked it. It was fun. But it, I didn't like it as much as I do the acrylic paint. So that's what I pretty much stick with. Okay. But you can use... A lot of different stuff so like with your paint or does it have to be like a, you use just one product of stuff well I have used um, I have I've used watercolors uh, no I've used like the dry powders and things mm -hmm. with some white paint or with gel medium um, I mean not gel medium matte medium but um, but most like of the time, ones? and I've used like inks and things with with paint. But I haven't used watercolor, I don't think, with other paint, because it just kind of beads up on there. And okay, um, and you know, other things you can let dry or you can mix with the white acrylic paint huh. nice this little bit of paper it's funny because it didn't look like any of it maybe it was a just an extra piece because right here was a torn edge so that must be where it came from Barbara says, I've used archival ink pads to lay down an image through a stencil, then pick it up with acrylic paint. And she's used pan pastels, too. Oh, wow. But all of those, you kind of want to use some paint to pick them up, pick the stuff up with. Or you can draw on it with a Sharpie mm -hmm. and then put paint over and pick it up. On your... Uh... On the jelly plate. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do it before you put the paint? Yeah, because that way okay. it shows up on the top as the top, you know, your design, whatever your design is. Okay. I'm gonna have to try that. But yeah, it was, I was job. reading. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you wouldn't want to use a sharp pen of some kind, you know, but um okay. but here I'll show you. We'll just We'll just do a little bit here. Okay. Oh, let me push away because that car came in for my daughter. <laughs> here we go. Oh, wow. I didn't even know you can color on this. Like, you can use alcohol markers. You can use, um, you know, whatever you decide you want to. Okay. Oh my gosh. Sorry. My little cousin's calling my daughter. That's all right. Not a biggie. Okay. Here we go. Oh, how pretty. Okay. I want to try it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, let me get a paper. You can use alcohol inks on the um on the jelly plate. 
Okay. Alcohol ink. And I can use stamps, like stamped ink? Yeah. Okay. And you said you use your sprays? I have used some sprays just to make a messy stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. um, this <laughs> pen is not wanting to work anymore. It's like, I don't like writing on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty. I like that one. Okay. Oh, yeah. That one's right. Oh, goodness. Barbara says, Letty, when you have a lot of paint on your plate like you do, try dropping some drops of actual alcohol on top of it. Okay. Oops. Oh, there goes the paper. <laughs> <laughs> it went on the floor. Okay. Okay. Let's put that up there. Okay. I don't know that I want to, but you could. Well, let's just do it for kicks. Instead of saying that you could. I could spray this on it. I sprays. Um, I haven't tried that particular brand. But everything okay. I've tried has been okay. So. Um. Okay. It says there. Shake well before you use. Store in cool dark place. There's no alcohol. Or there's no acid in it. It's acid free. Okay. Well it should be okay I would think. If anything, what it'll do is stain your plate, which um, doesn't hurt your prints at all. It just makes your plate not look pristine. If you don't care about that, then it's not a problem. I don't care about that. So, I don't but alcohol inks will do the same thing. They'll kind of stain your plate. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then you said we can draw on it. Now, yeah. are you using a permanent marker or? I just used a regular old Sharpie permanent marker. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, I have a whole bucket of those, but I never get to use them. So, I'm about to use them today. <laughs> Julie says she saw Shabby Dabby Duda do it with Posca pins. <coughs> <coughs> what I did with the Sharpie. Oh, nice. And I've used Posca pens on here before. Um, <clears throat> it's probably actually safer to use Posca pens because they're just acrylic paint. But I didn't have any trouble getting the Sharpie up last time. So it took two or three prints to get it off, but it came off. It's funny that brushing this paint on, mm -hmm. it is, um, it's not wanting to stay in place like when you roll it on. I have never brushed paint on here before, so. And I don't know if that's because I'm brushing it into this alcohol, I mean, the, the Sharpie, you know. Huh. I don't know, but it's weird. It's making little cells. I'm just going to go over it again a little bit and whatever it does after that, we're just going to be okay with it.
Well, that marker does want to work. She says, pick up the Sharpie marker with a thin layer of acrylic. Yeah, you definitely want to um, pick it up with paint. Um, I mean, you co let this dry and then you cover it up with paint and pull it all up. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I've never done this before. This is fun. <laughs> Oops, dropped something. Okay, I'm going to let that dry, and then we're going to put something on top of it. Did you color it in? I colored it in with pink paint. Oh, I'm coloring it in with the green marker. Oh, there you go. I only had the black marker around, easy to find. So I don't know if I they had a um, colored sharpies or not. But they had a sale a while back, um, twenty bucks for a huge like set of um, permanent marker pens. Oh, uh huh. At mm. um, Fred Meyer, and then. <laughs> Uh, we moved here where they don't have a Fred Meyer. So I'm like, well, there goes my deals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me find my little fan. This is fun. This. It's really weird to color on something jelly and not a solid piece of paper. Yeah, it is. It, it I feel feels like I'm colored on jello. <laughs> I've never done the Sharpie and then paint inside of it. Uh huh. I've always just drawn what I was going to do and then put paint over it. So, you know, I haven't done it quite like this before so this is kind of an experiment here hmm. I like this green against the blue it makes it really stand out yeah, it does. It's pretty. Thank you. It's almost dry. Hi, Miss Allie Kay. Good to see you. Mm -hmm. Allie Kay, hello. Okay, let's try. Just wanting to check. And I think I'm just going to put a blue sky behind it. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
we'll do that and then we'll put um, a little green down here at the bottom And then we put paint over it. Yeah, a thin layer. Okay. We're going to try the thin layer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take some practice. <laughs> I still end up doing like I'm doing right now, which is taking some of the paint off. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're like, wait for the thing to be really dry, dry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Will do. Uh -huh. So I'm adding still. So I didn't have any more big paper, and I just realized I made a big kind of picture here. I can't just take it off with a bunch of little pieces of paper. So I guess I could. Mm -hmm. But. That six by six paper comes in handy when your big paper's gone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know if there's a market to buy it or not. Um, I don't know. Um. Mm. Um, it depends on if they're selling them. They usually post them in their own Etsy shop. Um, but are you talking about like the actual jelly plate or people's prints? I think she's talking about people's prints, but I'm not positive. Yeah, I think if a person wants to sell them and put their name on it. Uh, I drew the flower, the black with a Sharpie marker. The paint inside was just acrylic paint that I painted the flowers with. <laughs> Wrinkles, and so this didn't come up really good, but everywhere there was a wrinkle, it didn't bring up the Sharpie. <laughs> Oh no. So it, and it's a it's the paper that's the issue because this paper wrinkles really bad. But you can Yeah, the paper I have does money. too. Um <laughs> When I've used markers before, I've colored in with other markers instead of with paint. So, um, hmm. I have a. Obviously, they'd be too pointy for this, but I have watercolor, um, uh, like colored pencils. Yeah. And those those work great for dipping in paint and they make it softer so it's not so pointy okay just a second i'll show you they said my, i was frozen and they didn't get to see my print so is it better now what i was saying was where i had a wrinkle the um 
the Sharpie didn't come off where the wrinkles were. So I'm still frozen. Well, it's saying I'm not, I don't have enough, um, but I'm not even, oh. I see you fine. You're moving on my thing fine. Okay. Am I still frozen, y'all? Okay. She says they saw it now. Okay. Oh, Julie, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <coughs> she says, this much rain is a hindrance. The grass is growing through the garden and up into the bushes. I can't go out to fix it. Oh, no. I'm going to have to get off pretty soon, but I want to, I want to see your print before we go. So we'll, okay. we'll wait that long. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Let me get my thing and so I can fan it. Oh, well, now shit. people are saying we're frozen again. Oh no. Yay. Okay. You are back. <laughs> <sighs> she said, I've got to go. Please pull a print. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. <coughs> I'm hurrying. <coughs> I just put a light coating of pink. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Hopefully that's not done. Nope, not enough. No, probably not. You definitely <laughs> want to cover the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> you did light, though, really well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Me too, Barbara. Barbara says, Letty, it's so good you came on today. This was fun. Aw, thank you. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you, Lisa. Well, I've had welcome. fun. I'm glad you could do it. Yeah. And no, I mean, pretty much no, um, you know, villain technicalities and stuff. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. She's asking, is, is that clear paint or gesso? What is that? It's not, it's blue, isn't it, that you put on? Uh, this is a matte acrylic uh, sky blue uh, paint. Yeah, it's just a pale blue. Okay, let me get a paper. Let me get some paper. <coughs> I'm going to make you big so we can see. Will do. Pull it, pull it, Barbara says. <laughs> I know. She's like, I need to patient. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do it on this this one side of the paper. Quick before it sets. Yeah, you don't want it to dry. <laughs> okay, it's going to have a little bit of this red in it, but stop right now. This ain't wait. I know, you guys. I know. Anticipation. <laughs> All right. We're going to do it on the back of this. Oh, okay. Because I can't find my other paper. <laughs> Drum roll, please. <laughs> you guys are so funny. I feel like I'm on a, a artsy chopped. <laughs> okay. Wow. I like it. Oh, yay. That looks good. Yeah. I like it. Yay! <laughs> Yay! 
And I can just fill in the spots where it didn't pick up my my little line right here. Mine didn't work quite as well as yours, but um, but you can see the the concept. We'll just have to do it again sometime so we can play with it some more. <laughs> Yay! Okay, great. <laughs> yeah, Barbara, go eat. We're going to all get off. Um, anyway, that was fun. It was so fun having you come play with me today. Thank Let's you for inviting me. It was awesome. I had a lot of fun. Thank you. You're welcome. Love you all. Bye-bye. All right. Bye.